Hi there, I'm David. And hi, I'm Con. You're probably wondering what we're doing here. So David, what are we doing here? Okay, we are in my garage studio and uh, recently, Con, I was helping you out uh, with the clamps video. That's right, and I couldn't have done it without you. And I love the jib shots with the hot head no on worry. the cutaways. Yeah, good. No, that's good, that's good. But what I realized when I was rolling on that, or recording, we were recording that video, is how many of those clamps that you were talking about that we're actually using uh, in here, in where my, you, in That's my right, we're using them right now to hold up the lights in your, in your Correct, studio. Correct, yeah, plus plus a few others um, that, that we didn't use, but I use I have them in my car all the time, and I just thought, well look, because I had a couple of photos from some location shoots that I did, I thought it's an opportunity um, to uh, show you how I, how I use some of the clamps that you talked about and, and some of the ones you didn't talk I, about. I believe you got some examples. I, I have indeed, so. What's the first example? Okay, so what I'm doing here is um, a live cross on uh, St Kilda Beach here in Melbourne mm -hmm. and uh, the talent hasn't arrived yet, but I'm, I'm working on my own and working on the beach, which mm -hmm. creates, or uh, working on the sand, which creates challenges. Oh, we've all had the situations where, where sand's got into our gear and it's h half an hour, an hour worth of our time afterwards cleaning Correct. it all out. It follows you home. Follows you uh, home. Yep. So the less of it that goes back in the car, the better. But mm -hmm. It's also, you know, expensive electronic equipment. You know, we've got microphones and wind socks and 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 all sorts of things that I just don't want sand getting into. So, so what, what's the first example you're going to show so, us of how you use your plants? So, if I just zoom in a bit uh, here, yeah. hang on, sorry, but just bear with me with my. Sure. So, I, I'm not sure if you're familiar with the Dejero. What is the Dejero for myself and others who might not know what it is? Uh, it's basically uh, five or six mobile phone SIM cards in that little box. Yep. Um, and it, it sends the live signal out, basically. So, so it takes the SDI out of the camera into that, and it's a bonding process, whatever that is, and uh, yep. it's the links, basically. And that's, and that's why, you know, when you watch the news yep. uh, these days, whether there's a, a natural disaster or whatever, that the news crews are always... They're, they're, they're so quickly doing live crosses and it's basically so as long um, as you've got a phone network a working phone network correct. mobile network correct you, you can live stream from almost anywhere correct and but so these are used very much by news ng sort of yeah groups. and there's a couple of different uh, brands of them but mm -hmm. this is the one that uh, channel 9 use that's mm -hmm. one uh so so once again you know this demonstrates how useful these clamps are because i'm working on my own yep so what i had here was the combination of the Cartellini clamp, which you mm. mentioned about in your video, oh, yes. and actually join the join it to a super clamp, mm -hmm. and the Cartellini is is mounted to um, my trolley. Yep. And then another little trick uh, that I do is I've just this isn't a Dejero, this is just a Pelican case of mine. Uh, what I actually do is screw the super clamp down. I don't uh, screw it so tight that it will risk crushing the, the handle. Mm -hmm. I just do it just so it's firm, but if you sort of see there, it just means that the handle actually won't slip through. Right, that's a, a the very clamp. I don't know this combination of cl your clamps. Anyone else does that or not, but that's, that's what I do. But yep. then you can see there how it just keeps it out of, out of the sand, and it's and one less thing I have to... Yeah, and the clamps are pretty robust. It's pretty sturdy. good, yeah, it's pretty they? good. And yeah. you know, when the pressure's on, I, you know, I do that up quite tight. Mm -hmm. And just, you know, I mean, you just know that even without being an engineer, you know, those beautiful deep threads, mm. there's a lot of strength in there. Yep. Um, I mean, it doesn't, it does, uh, it is important to actually check when you are going to uh, perhaps experiment with what you're actually going to suspend yeah. with these things. Just jump onto the website and just check what the load The load ratings, and that's ratings very are. important, Correct. that's right. You don't want to exceed the manufacturer's load ratings no, on the No, because some of this gear is, is quite expensive, or it's all expensive. It's another examples of just the super clamps, how many I actually have. You know, there's actually, mm. what, there's three or four on that trolley. Um, right, you use them a fair bit. Yeah, yeah. and like until you sort of mentioned it in the video, I thought, yeah, these we do use these quite a lot. They're an integral part of what we do. Yeah, um, and I mean, I, like even say here, um, and the, there's another Cardellini there, is I basically just fix the, when I'm going from the car, I actually just fix the light panels mm. onto the uh, super clamp yep. with spigots. And that's, yeah. and I just load the trolley up with lights. Mm -hmm. um, so it saves and, sp space on the trolley. Uh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. And, and you know, once again, we don't have camera assistance. So, yeah. um, so that's another one. What else have I got? Oh, another one, another clamp is the spring clamp. 
mm -hmm. which we have, just one of these. And uh, I must admit, I didn't, once again, to your video, uh, I, I felt a bit ashamed because, the, once again, they're so important, these clamps, yep. but I actually don't know what they're all called. Yeah, we had uh, to look them up. We, we had, had to, to do a bit of research ourselves. We had to look them up, but, you know, I use this every day. So mm. uh, that, of course, everyone is familiar with, the polystyrene. Uh, oh, that's right. In the photo, you used uh, the spring clamp. And what's that connected to? It's a grip head on a C stand. C -stand. Yep. It's on a C stand, yeah. Yep. So, and uh, what's the reflector actually doing? You've got the lights and the reflector. What's the reflector actually doing in this? So, so once again, so with morning TV, as, yeah. uh, anyone who's done it, is light can change. I mean, you can oh. arrive there in the dark. Yes. And you get out the lights you think you're going to need. Yep. And then, you know, within a few minutes before you actually go live, the, s the sun has come up or it's... You don't know, actually know if it's going to be cloudy or full sun. Mm -hmm. On this particular day, it was patchy. I was going from, you know, because, you know, the director's in your ear saying, we're coming to you after the break, we're still five minutes away, we're still seven minutes away. In that time, full sun, cloud, full sun, cloud. So when... You're hedging your bets. Pretty much. So mm -hmm. when um, the sun's out, obviously, mm -hmm. the LEDs won't do a lot. Yep. But I positioned the silver side mm -hmm. of the of the poly if the sun came out yeah uh, and once again in the morning or yeah you know, the morning uh life crosses the sun's obviously low yeah uh so it's coming in on that angle and that angle that i need um and you don't have anyone to hold that no i don't have anyone to hold it one up no and, and we're on the on the beach yep. um and once again i just you know bury the the base of the polystyrene into the sand yep and the there's a 12 kilogram shop bag on the C stand and then the clamp. Uh, I mean, look, it's if it's a cyclone, it will blow away, but you know, it's still yeah. there's still a fair bit of wind that day. That's right. No, no man of uh, stands or, 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 or shop bags can uh, save you from a hurricane no. or a windy day, but on a reasonable day, they can really uh, allow you to to do your job and do, do it well, especially when you don't have anyone to help you. Now, I notice you've got a, a sandbag, not a shop bag on the base of the poly. Is there a reason why It's you... another strange nuance of mine. The, the, sa the sandbags, I've got one somewhere, it's actually lighter than a shop bag. Oh, okay. And um, the, the lead shop bag being heavier, I think you can actually risk damaging the polystyrene, yeah, throw it on, the throw it on it'll, yeah. just, it'll just it's snap. Cracking. And yeah. and anyone who has polystyrene in their kit will know it's actually getting large sizes of polystyrene actually isn't easy. Yeah, it's getting harder and harder. I think uh, it's and then, considered a hazardous material. It is, yeah. And and I, that's another thing I should point out. I generally don't use these inside for that reason, mm. but I think outside's fairly yep. sort of safe. But you know, by the time you uh, gaffer tape the silver side mm. to it, you know, it's it's work. You know, yeah. so you. You go out of your way not to break it, mm. uh, even though it's just not worth a whole lot of money. But mm. you know, what's yeah. your time worth? You know, making another one or we've been using them for yeah. twenty or thirty years or more. It's Correct, a great piece of kit. But that no, it's, it's subtle, but yeah, that is a, a shop bag, a sandbag as opposed to a shop bag. Right. And uh, and also the other reason I keep I just have one sandbag is actually handy because the trolley's not braked. Okay, you don't have brakes in the trolley. No. Yet. So uh, if I basically wedge the sandbag when I'm on. Uh, you know, a proper surface. Yep. I actually use that sandbag uh, to just to wedge the wheel. So, so you know, the trolley's not going to work. Go away, yeah. yeah. So yeah. I know we've gone off topic there, but there is a difference between a sandbag and a shop bag. Oh, that's good. Uh, that's why I asked. I didn't yeah. realise there was a difference. The talents turned up. I, okay. I can't remember what we were talking about. But you know, once again, you know, the scenarios here. I have. To, I'm on my own. Yeah, um, we don't get assistance these days as much as we'd like no, to. No, but yeah. but you know, it's important that. You know, when it does go live, that it just looks normal. Yes. And everyone just expects it to look normal, but you have to put a effort, bit of effort in to, yeah, to make right. it look normal. And I was covered if the sun went... I can't remember what actually ended up happening, but mm -hmm. I did light up both the uh, light panel LEDs flat mm -hmm. out. Yeah. And if the sun came out, then mm -hmm. the bounce board, you're right, was going to fill. Mm -hmm. And if it was cloudy, those uh, light panels have got oh, enough. So the bounce board was a fill, not so much a key. Uh, so you're fill, yeah. filling in the dark shadow. Pretty much, yeah. Because, because if the sun came out, you'd have to iris yeah, down, correct. and then the, the shadow correct. side becomes yes. too dark, so you need yes. fill. Yeah, gotcha. yeah. That's so and then if the sun goes in halfway yeah. through the live cross, then yeah. the LEDs will end. Will be enough of a fill level. Just something, yeah. Ah, of course. The reason they chose the beach for the location was I think he was going overseas to work mm. somewhere, in, you know, in a coastal area. So they wanted yeah. the beach 
yep. today show producers wanted water, generic water and sand in the oh, background. Oh, I see. Um, yeah. And so once again, cheating a little bit with the polarizer just makes it look a bit, wow. a bit nicer. Yeah, and one thing I always say, uh, you know, about the look is, you know, try and imagine how people are watching it, you know, and you sort of, you don't realize till you go to, you know, a department store or yeah. in Australia here, you know, JB Hi-Fi or whatever, and you see the big, the TVs are getting bigger and bigger, you yeah. know, so you think, well, if someone is watching uh, breakfast TV, yep. and they're watching your work yep. in a box next to the anchor, yes, which is oh, beautiful, that's right. you yeah, know, nice so squished like that, correct, yep. you know, so you know, you want it to look as good as possible. That's right. Um, I mean, I mean it's never going to make our images. Correct, yeah. correct. But like, if I had none of those, didn't have any of those clamps, no bounce, I would have said, I, if I didn't take shop bags out, I said, well, I wouldn't have put lights up i wouldn't have you know gone exactly to you wouldn't have gone to the trouble no and, and the trolley helps you put all that stuff yes to go from the car to your location Correct. And, and do what you're able to do that's yeah. that's very commendable yeah. that's great yeah so um i think we've probably done the live cross and i mean once again we only do these case studies with the photos that i can actually back them up with mm -hmm. um so we're not the reason we're singling out that live cross i just happened to take Mm. Uh, a couple of selphies that day for social media purposes and, and didn't the photo didn't tells them. a thousand it's it a does. thousand words it does so it? ready for our next actually just go back to the um, previous slide what, uh, what have we got there so if people are interested if they already don't have these clamps where, where can they get them who well, makes this, them well this is a Manfrotto product yep. and once again I, I have to declare that with all the corporate takeovers and things I mm. don't know who owns who anymore but I think this still is Manfrotto yeah is that right a, yeah it's a Manfrotto they've been around uh, these super clamps yes. there's a universal super clamp with ratchet handle um, it's got a model number 035C uh, so if you're looking to get one that's that's where you can find it on the website mm -hmm. and you talk to your local dealer about, yes. about them almost e every, everybody sells these I, I can't imagine why you wouldn't yep. sell them because, because they're just, everyone, yeah, uses, everyone, them. everyone uses them. So um, let's go on to your second case study. Okay, what are you going to talk to us about here? Okay, so this was a day down at Phillip Island here in yeah. Victoria yep. the, at the racetrack. Uh, if you're familiar with that. Um, this was a story I was uh, doing f uh, for a Channel 10 show yep. and racing driver Tony Delberto. Mm -hmm. So once again, the case study here is the the car, we had a two hour window opportunity with this Ferrari. Yep. Uh, it was delivered on a flat tray truck. Yep. And once it was off, it was the, the clock was ticking. It was two hours. Right. So you had limited time to get the in, in car stuff. Correct. Shoot him driving around the, camera, uh, the track with the big camera. How many cameras did you have in the uh, car? I had, two, I had a GoPro and a, ca a small camera, which I'll get onto in a minute, oh, okay. in, in the car. Yeah. Uh, but just once again, the scenario here is it's commercial pressure. Yeah. And even on the day, it was uh, terrible weather. The forecast was terrible. The job was almost cancelled. Oh, wow. Uh, and then we, the sun came out. So we mm. had you know, a window of um, opportunity to sort of get the story so done. Hurry, hurry, rig the cameras. Correct. So get the, the car's off the, Ferrari's off the flat tray truck into the shed. They start prepping it for the driving, and uh, and that's where you know we had to sort of work around the engineers as well. Mm -hmm. And it was a corporate day, okay. so everyone's people have you know helicoptered in basically. A lot of people chop it in basically to have their lap. Oh wow! So you know once again as we have to do with camera, as camera crews, we're half camera crew, we're half public relations. We have to make sure we don't get in the way. Yep. Everyone has to, we have to get what we need. Yep just touched the mic there sorry uh, yeah. and they have to get that's right what they need that's right so once again you know with us we don't uh, have production meetings we don't have recce mm. we don't have rehearsals that's true, we just that's have to true. make it happen so you know the clamps are just always in the car didn't know what I was going to need well th this is it it's not like you know I'm gonna need this and that you rock up to the job you don't know is there gonna be a roll cage isn't there gonna be a roll cage oh, no. how thick are the roll cage is gonna be which clamps do I bring you more or less have to have a kit of clamps and correct yeah. and foresee you know what what could happen yeah uh, so we're in, anyhow we're in the the garage here that's um, it's a left-hand drive car obviously and that's Tony's side there uh, and then it was a luxury of us. The door actually comes off the car. It's designed well, to come off easy. like yeah. aviation. You just pull a pin out and the door comes off. Here I am rigging um, GoPros and the um, Handycam, which I'll get onto in a sec. Just 
because there's could be a few nerdy camera people watching this. I'll just let you know. I know. So um, you have to be nerdy. Yeah. Sony (laughs) NX thirty P. Yep. Uh, I was going to say, so why, I would have thought you would have used GoPros. A lot of people use GoPros. Why are you, and this is a recent photo, isn't it? Yeah, it's just last year. Last year. Why, why are you using well, a handicap? Well, I had a GoPro. a GoPro. I had a GoPro as well, but yeah. uh, we know GoPros do some things really well and there's some things they don't do that well. And it's probably just the, you know, the confidence factor yeah. um, that I know, you know, when I flip the screen out, mm. I can see how much uh, mm. battery life there is. I can see how much times left on the um, on the card mm-hmm. etc uh, so um, and also this particular model uh, has you can't really see it but it basically has an image stable an optical image stabilizer mm-hmm. I can see say, it. The, yeah the it's actually moving yeah. staying inside of the yeah. body yeah, so and I know I know we shouldn't be editorializing but this is no. a great camera and I'm no, not no, sh- no. I'm not sure why Sony don't still make them because it's actually pretty good and I see no. I notice on social media some people actually put out messages anyone selling one so if someone wanted to buy one they couldn't find one they couldn't they find one is um, there a, a, a new model i think there is but i, I think it's slightly different with its stabilization yeah um <coughs> so anyhow so then this basically ticks all the boxes so it's not actually we didn't get a gopro to put side by side but it's not that much bigger yeah that's it's right and head- you've got the convenience of the monitor being built in it's real-time monitoring Correct. it's got the image stabilization and the biggest thing compared to a gopro you can zoom. I can zoom, and not yeah. that I did. I was still wide, but it's just I can do things like take it off the um, auto function, so yeah. I can do things on the touch screen, to, you know, for you exposure actually, compensation, uh, and use an iris, all to, of those things for exposure instead of the shutter. So, yeah. but al- but also what I did here because uh, once we got up and running, of course I have to go up onto the viewing platform, which is pretty much above the the uh, pit garages here, and do the B roll. On the um, of the car actually of the car going around the thing. The so once again, the sun's out here, but it was it was a terrible day and it was really windy. But what happened was I could just say to the producer, "Listen, you know, when I flip the screen around to its side position, when the car comes back into the pits mm. to change passengers, can you just look in? Yep. Uh, when the person's changing over, and just make sure you know the record's on and." Has something got bumped or exactly. the battery went exactly. flat? Exactly. Yeah. And the story did have a happy ending. I mean, this is. This is so a great camera, yeah. Saved the day. It saved the day, and yeah. and and I wasn't sure because I'd never used it in a, a racing car before, mm. uh, and you know the G's that it pulls, and it was actually That's the footage right. was the footage was pretty good. Okay, yeah, that brings up an, another interesting point. A lot of people, you know, uh, aren't too happy about us rigging uh, cameras in their in, in their vehicles unless it's done properly and safely. Can you tell I, us? I, the engineers were there, yeah. The yeah. engineers were there, and yeah. I'm mindful of that because once again, I don't want to damage anything, and yep. and you can imagine how much this stuff costs. Yep. Spare parts. I asked the engineers. I said, "Can I clamp?" It was the super clamp. Yep. Oh, um, what was the combination? The combination was yeah. was this basically. So it was yep. a super clamp. Yep. And I'll just hold that up. Yep. Uh, so that they basically they said yes, I can. I had permission to clamp it yep. to the to the roll bar. So the super clamp was strong enough to do the job. What else have you got attached and to the what super, we'll do, super clamp? Should we just? It'll be grainy, but yep. I'll just give the idea. Yeah. Uh, so the super clamp. Yep. Onto the roll bar, and they and they signed off that I yep. could do it up tightly. Yep. Yep. It wasn't going to crush. And, and there was no cables on on the uh, on the on the. If I can't remember if there was, obviously. You put it on the side. On there the end, correct. And, uh, Crimping yeah, it. Yep. Yeah. And then, sorry, kind of forgotten the name of this. this oh, one. that's a, a double ball uh, joint head, I think. Yeah. Double ball uh, one of those. joint. But basically, I'm, I'm covered for um, for all the angles, basically. And then I, then I put the handy cam. Uh, and, and these are quite common, and these often come when you buy kits of Magic Arms and things. That, that's right. So I have a lot of these lying around. And if you want to Google them and find out what that one's called, that was a camera bracket. Uh, so we've got three. I'm oh, super clamp, double ball joint head, and uh, uh, camera clamp. Yeah. So they're all available at uh, most of the resellers, distributors here in Melbourne but, and around the world. But but and once again, but importantly, sorry yeah, to cut you off, yeah. but importantly is um, once again check the load limits. Yes, that's right. Um, now obviously that's that's quite light, but once again yeah. a car doing. 200, 250 k's an hour. So, so the clamps have got to be fit for the over purpose. Engi- over engineered. <laughs> in exactly. this case, th- this is over engineered, but that's that's what I need because mm. you can imagine what potentially could happen. And so once again, another another job that I couldn't mm. have possibly done. 
without these, without clamps. these clamps. And yeah. and the GoPro, um, if I just put a second GoPro in, yeah. uh, because the lens is so wide, yeah. it was really, I think I may have tested it, but it was pretty much just going to be a lot of red seat yes and a lot of dashboard yep 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 and really when you go into the medium or the close setting on the thing you're just digitally zooming into the correct picture, aren't you? and it's once great. again with this i can just yeah. do a slight zoom yeah have got reframe done correct done. yeah and then walk away and then then you know have, i have to get upstairs and start doing the. That, well it's right. actually not b-roll it's probably the a footage yeah uh but once again, uh, another interesting case study. And once again, we are, we've just used this. It is a good case study, but because we had the photos mm. uh, to back it up, that's another reason we've that's, used this. That's right. And again, two scenarios where you're a one-man band and you need to keep the quality up, you yeah. need the, the help of these clams to be able to do what you need to do. Yeah. Because uh, really, uh, a lot of times you have, might have a separate person doing the car in-car stuff. Mm -hmm. Another person's doing the stuff you were sure. doing uh, I had a I did have a sound recorder that you day did have a and, sound and a producer and a producer uh, but you know there's still a lot to do and mm. uh, and once again we only had a 2 hour window they had to do the corporate laps mm. and people had flown in helicopter you know it's, the stakes yeah, are high a lot of expense yeah and uh, we had to make a story out of it and we had to do promos mm. with Tony as well yeah. um, so the less you know once again you put this little camera on you turn it on the display it says I've got two and a half hours of uh, card time, record yeah. time, three hour, three and a half hours of battery time, and it's like if I don't just turn it on once, I don't have to touch it. Exactly, and you Again. can t tell how long the card's going to run for yeah. the battery, and um, yeah, and, and on you know this rocks this rock solid mm. setup, and I didn't have to worry about it. That's it coming uh, off, and and that's very important because if you put a lesser um, uh, clamp and 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 ball joint in, into mm. place. And the thing uh, either broke off because of the G's and hit the driver in the face, or who's paying? Exactly, <laughs> who, who yeah. gets sued? So, 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 exactly. So, you know, uh, the expense of of good quality, um, reliable mm. gear is worth every uh, cent, in my yeah. opinion. Yeah, and also, and you know, some of the videos that we'll probably now do, yeah, because there is a bit of interest in them. Is yeah. uh, you know, we'll just uh, also point out, you know, these are a good investment. Everyone, you, how long have you had your claims for? I've had mine 15, 20 years. Some of these are over 20 years old. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, everyone's, you know, 4K this and log that and yeah. Alexa. Yeah. Look, clamps, you, yeah. you could do worse things yeah. um, I and agree. spend your money on clamps. Yeah. So, uh, and, and these are part of what I would call your basic kit. Hmm. You know, um, your grip equipment, your lighting, you know, even the lights come and come and go mm. in fashion you know we we went from tungsten to fluoros to now leds mm. i still got my tungsten lights i yep. love my tungsten. we're lighting some of the studio here with some ARRI 300s yes. and, as well as you uh, the new led technology mm. but yes. um yeah yeah we've just clicked back to the manfrotto yep website here so it, it has all the part numbers and model numbers yep. so if you want to check them out on the website and then go to your distributor and say uh, have you got any of these uh, parts and these are the part numbers? That if they don't have them, they can order them in for you. But yeah. also, even we were just before... Okay, I have to admit, I couldn't remember what that was called. Yep, yep. We've uh, had them so long in our bags. Correct. Just give me that spring clamp. But if there. you just uh, go into the search engine, um, yep. you know, in the images, Google images, a lot yep. of this stuff comes up and that can yep. be more specific. Yep. Uh, so I think we're sort of getting yep. there, are we? Yep. Um, once again, still on the Manfrotto page. Bracket. There's another name for for this double joint head, tilt top head with without bracket. They're uh, a good one. I've got a few of those. Yeah, um. the very uh, actually uh, uh, it doesn't have um, the the weight uh, capacity there, but anyway, it's available it on the website. It should be there, yeah. yeah. But the, but they are good. Mm. Um, so one more thing before we go. Yeah. Where do you keep your clamps? Now, I keep mine in a little Pelican case, but I notice you, you've you got a... Look, I have a porta brace an old porta brace bag. I think this was a, a mixer bag, but once again, part of my uh, thing of repurposing old equipment. I don't think this uh, bag actually... Um, Bring it in closer to you. That one? Close up. That one, yeah. 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 This bag here, this is an old porta brace bag. I think it was a mixer bag or a monarch bag or something, but I keep... Uh, you know, I've just got the nano clamps, all the go-to. Uh, what's that one? That's a scissor There's clamp. A, uh, Once again, these ones don't come out very often, yep. but when they do, they're worth their weight in gold. Yep. Um, you know, ball heads, you know, I just keep the, the tall spigots. Um, yep. That, I 
don't leave home without mm -hmm. that bag. And it's also handy if you've got it in some sort of container like a bag or probably you can bring it with you to the car there and go, what do I need? Rummage through it, yeah, that's what I need and use yes. that. On my um, list of things to do, which I, there's a long list, I actually want to get this into a, um, like a port brace uh, hip bag, I think they call yeah. it. Uh, because when, the reality is when you're rigging cars, yep. Um, on your knees, on the asphalt, on the side of the road. I just find it's handy. Yep. Um, that's probably where that stuff would end up eventually, my car, in, yep. in one of those. Because it's there with you, you don't have time. I'll yeah. just go to the car and grab that clamp. Yes. Because he's gone. Yes. He's just pulled in to do a bit of a pit stop. Yep. And it's your turn to fine tune something or to yeah. quickly rig that uh, camera. But also, but I mean, if you lose, I mean, they're not cheap. I mean, you don't want to lose these. No. You know, it eats into your profits. So containing containing them all, keeping a handle on them all is important. And knowing where to find them, that's the biggest thing. Yeah. If you've got them in a dedicated case or bag, mm. that's where they live, that's where you go to find them. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, for yeah. sure. All right, well, do you think uh, we've covered... I think, uh, we're, I think we're pretty good. I, that's if people are still, <laughs> still, still with us. Still with us. <laughs> uh, but um, I'm sort of happy with that. But like I said, just to wrap it up, it's basically... Um, these are pretty important and they get used on pretty much every job that I go on yeah. for something. Yeah. So um, if you haven't already got your kit of clamps, we strongly suggest that you go out and, uh, and build your kit of clamps because inevitably uh, it'll get you out of trouble, it'll help you do your job and do it well. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and Dave, there's more to come, I believe. There is indeed. Stay well. Sorry.